your, your job, it's really important to understand what the job is, is going from the moment you hear of an idea or read a script all the way to the point where you're collecting the money after the movie's been released. And that's a three to five year process. So you better love your film. That's the first thing. Um, but to get into producing, it's really not a science. There's no like, get this job, sign up for this thing, do this internship, work for CAA. Like, no, what it is and what it, why I was able to do it so quickly um, and, and, and for a long period of time is it's, it's all on you. You find the script, you find the money, you hire the director, you put together a team that then goes and picks the actors and then you go on the scouts, you, you know, hire the line producer and put together the budgets. Like it's all on you the whole way. And it's sort of its own company of you. So if, it, you know, I'm not an ego, I'm not into ego stuff. So I don't call my company Bradley Gallo Productions, but it is Bradley Gallo Productions, right? You know, you, 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 that's what you, that's what you, there's no like job. There's, you are the job. So you have to say, I'm going to find a script. I'm going to go find, you know, obviously I want to start with a smaller movie, make a $250,000 film and find five people to give you $50,000, a dentist, a lawyer, or a family member, or, uh, or maybe you're lucky enough to get to an institutional investor um, and, and, and pull together an independent film and then make that film. And if you haven't been to film school, which I didn't go, um, you certainly can, uh, you certainly can just learn on the first film uh, as you go, but you're really just running a business. You're running a small business in a creative field that you are, uh, that you are responsible for. And I think the advice is to go and put one together. The only thing that essentially stops you is, is the money, you know, raising the money. And if you think you can figure that out, you don't have to have the money yourself. Like, oh, the rich, rich people are the only ones. No, you, you can go and find out who somebody can give you 25,000 a year, 25,000. I mean, people make movies for way less than 250. I was just saying that in the sense of getting some cast members that you can actually afford that, that give your film a little bit more value. Um, but yeah, you, you know, some people say start with a short film, right? But short films don't make any money. And, and if you want to project yourself faster and you're maybe older, there's so many ways to talk about this. Um, I'd say go make one and put this together. And all of a sudden you made that one. Somebody else hands you a script. You're making that one. Now you have three movies that you made as a producer. You start a company. You call it what you want to call it. You look for financing for your company. Then you start getting hired maybe by a streamer or a studio because you made a horror film that did well. I'm making that up. Um, and, and you start to build a brand for yourself as a producer and for your company. I mean, that's essentially what we did. I mean, and you can partner with people. I partnered with an amazing a uh, man by the name of Michael Halfant, who's 20 years older than I am, and uh, came sig from significant companies out in, in, in Hollywood forever. I was a New Yorker, and we combined that way. But, but you know, you're, 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 you're as good as you're the people you surround yourself with. And if you feel like you're a producer, your job is to hire all the better people, better than you, uh, to do all those different jobs. And then you just sort of steer the ship. I think that's what, that's what it takes to be an independent producer.